I spent last week collecting every single Grand Theft Auto game ever created since 1997. That's a total of 16 games created in the GTA series, and today I will play every single Grand Theft Auto game. So without further ado, let's jump back to 1997 with the first GTA game ever created. So this is the first Grand Theft Auto game titled, well, Grand Theft Auto. It came out November 28th, 1997, and I'm kind of shocked that I'm able to play this. I had to mess around with some of my computer settings just to get this run, but I was finally able to get this to run. So yeah, let's just jump into Grand Theft Auto 1 and let's just see how this goes. Hmm, we can choose our character right here. We can be Travis, Katie, Mickey, Divine, Bubba, Troy, Kivlov, Yulrika. Hmm, who should we be? Who should we be? Who do I feel more like? Hmm, Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the guys look kind of weird. So I'll play as a girl, fine, I'll be Mickey. Play as Mickey Mouse. I'm so sorry, Mickey. But yeah, okay, we're going to Liberty City. Let's go. All right, here is Grand Theft Auto 1. I haven't touched this game before. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We need to go this way. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I was just so cool that I'm playing this though. This is really, really cool. I see an arrow that's telling me to go right, but there's a train track right here. Oh, got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm just running into pedestrians. Okay. What is this? Why are they walking in a line? What is this? First grade? Uh, dump the car in somewhere. Find it something. Okay, I have to go find a car. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this game is you have to play it in a bird's eye view, but there is some 3D effects to this. Like you can kind of tell with some of the buildings buildings or some of the structures that there is some like 3d aspects to this game which i'm a little bit shocked by now one thing about this game i am just walking everywhere and this is incredibly annoying i don't know how i can like carjack all right can i cross the street in this game yes okay i can oh here's a car okay how do i get the car or there's a little information icon the arrow always points to your goal but don't rely on it for navigation okay how do i get in the car i'm just gonna press random buttons on my keyboard see what happens oh is it enter oh moron it is enter bring the car to Dooley's west park move it we got some something i didn't get to read it back it up back it up back it back it up there we go that's back yeah i don't know why that car is in my way oh i got well, okay okay we're driving now okay okay i have to book it oh there's a car right there well that car needed to not park there clearly i have the right to way oh oh i need to go this way dude you know what screw i'll drive through the park oh am i trapped please do not tell me i'm trapped this is so hard to control i am not great with mouse and keyboard oh yeah one thing i did learn about this game before i actually started playing it is that in order to like actually figure out like where you're going you would have to print out a map <laughs> there's no mini map here like how there is in some of the other games wait whoa what i passed where i was supposed to go i got a machine gun how oh oh we're supposed to go in there can i get out let me go in here Hello? Am I supposed to drive the car through there? I don't know what is going on. Jimmy needs a driver. Talk to him on the phone at the South Park, blah, blah. A little too fast for me to read. Dude, this Jimmy guy's kind of pissing me off. Jimmy needs everything done. Like, Jimmy, shut up. What? Wait, I already passed where I needed to go. Oh, 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 oh. I need to talk to him on the phone. Okay, what's up, Jimmy? There's a cab with a fake plate. Southeast Island City. Pick him up. Uh, take him outside. The bank. South, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. There's not a lot of why going on right now the storytelling is not really there but granted this is the first game this is 1997 okay i'm getting points for like running into stuff i don't understand that either dude i'm racking up points just running into that guy over and over once the pickup is made the cops will be all over you or something oh am i supposed to get in the ta okay fine 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 i'll get in this car okay i have a one in level on me or apparently i do i think it's a one star i don't even know how did i get busted okay whatever you know what? uh, that's gonna be it that's all i'm gonna do here for Grand Theft Auto 1. It's a lot different than what we usually play, but it's a revolutionary game nonetheless. But yeah, let's jump into the next GTA game. All right, so we've made it over to our next Grand Theft Auto game, which is going to be an expansion for Grand Theft Auto 1. And this one's Grand Theft Auto London 1969. And this came out April 30th of 1999. So yeah, let's just jump into this game. Let's see how it goes. Um, who do we have here? Rodney. Okay, Rodney. Charles. Mick. Sid. Winston. Wolfie. We have Johnny, Maurice. All right, I'm sorry. I got to do Johnny. I have to do Johnny. Johnny has to be the guy. London, number one, boys will be thieves. Um, okay. I'm not playing this game much, so I don't know what that means, but let's see how this goes. Okay, yeah, it looks roughly the same. All right, so same ordeal. We can run around. Can I just get into a car? Okay, yeah, I learned that from GTA 1. Good. I'm learning. I need to go to this. You've heard of the Crisp Twins, right? You want a mod scooter for their old deer? That means you want one. So, okay, don't let me read because whatever but yeah we're gonna have to go and get a scooter dude i don't know i don't know what's going on okay oh oh this is a scooter okay take the scooter to harold cartwright's place okay wait what we have a two-star 
star wanted level or it's not even stars two head wanted level i guess i wonder how in the world am i supposed to get a five star wanted level in this game or even like the max star wanted level cop cop stop oh i ran over that cop oh my god it's this thing again okay i have to drive the scooter in here nice one very tidy uh i have to go see harold apparently um i'll take a cop car i guess oh harold's over here sorry let me let me go talk to you harold hello oh okay we actually get a cutscene thingy what is this it a uh, mission pass okay johnny hawthorne 320 public enemies um i i don't know what any of this means but that is grand theft auto london 1969 there's another expansion with grand theft auto one so let's jump into that one all right here is grand theft auto expansion pack number two london 1961 i don't know the difference but it's okay this expansion pack came out july 1st of 1999 all right so who can i be it's sid oh is it the same ones okay i gotta continue being johnny hawthorne johnny hawthorne is the best person of all time don't even come at me with none of these other guys like especially sid anyways um wait whoa whoa whoa, whoa. we had some cool looking cars hold on dude this car is so fast okay okay this car is way too fast but hey it's more fun all right harold wants to take out a pill pushing race car driver by the name of poundage fern mm, okay well i have a nice race car myself or a fast car in my opinion the ferocious 250 it's very ferocious dude how in the world did anyone control any of this back in the day i can't i cannot i cannot oh my god i am driving through the alleyways there's water there dude drain the water and let me drive through it <laughs> oh how far away is this guy wait there's a race car there's like a legitimate race car hold on i want to you're nicked mission fit well i wanted to get that race car but it's fine you know what we're ending this gta right here it's kind of the same ordeal you get the point all right so this is going to be gta 2 right here but i'm not really getting my hopes up on this because it was not working at all yesterday when i was trying to test this out yeah gta 2 was not working i don't think it is going to work but one cool thing about gta 2 is we have this intro movie it's just actually pretty cool this game came out october 22nd 1999 so 1999 it was a very busy year with two expansions and then gta 2 releasing but yeah you definitely have the 90s vibe here with all this kind of stuff it's kind of cool but yeah okay we, we get the point all right yeah but this is the problem <laughs> i load in and there's supposed to be like play options and then quit or something like that i don't even get to see any of that i mean i can click on it but then it's probably gonna glitch out which i expect it will and now i can't even escape <laughs> Yeah, GTA 2 is probably my least favorite GTA, but it's for other reasons because I can't freaking get out of here now. But yeah, let's jump into our next GTA game. So we've made it over to our next Grand Theft Auto game, which is going to be Grand Theft Auto 3. Now, Rockstar released Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as a part of the Definitive Edition. And with this Definitive Edition for all three of those games, it is now on Xbox, PS5, and Switch, and I assume PC too. So some of these next ones I can play literally on Xbox. Like, I'm chilling here on Xbox. But yeah, anyways, let's jump into Grand Theft Auto 3 and let's see what looks different. All right, so here we go. Grand Theft auto three no more of me trying to you know select from johnny hawthorne and the other dorks it is just us at liberty city bank okay okay yeah yeah yeah. no more bird's eye view okay oh there's a guy running oh and a girl running okay sorry babe i'm an ambitious girl well, she just shot him. So yeah, with these definitive edition games, it's supposed to look better than the original version, even though a lot of people don't even think so. I'm just glad I'm able to get my hands on it instead of GTA 2, because that just kept glitching out. Okay, so yeah, someone's going to a penitentiary, blah, blah, blah. That's so great. I'm going to skip. I should have skipped it. Why? I don't know why it's on fire. Ah, give me liberty. Uh -huh. Ah, declaration of independence. A little nod, I see. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm used to these controls now. All right. So I have a mini map now, which is nice. Controls are a little bit different it feels a little different but much better than using my keyboard but where's my place oh it's here god it's stopping the blue marker oh that's right we're escaping prison bro this car is already so beaten up i am so so sorry where are we go oh, oh a cop hey hey i just escaped you and i'm using the left lane and they didn't pull me over not that they ever do luigi's girls mm, luigi okay, this guy's gonna talk to luigi what no one messes with my girls but you told me to mess with her. Dude, you get at it, prick. You have to get in a vehicle. I don't want that vehicle. I don't want that vehicle either. Ooh, a taxi cab. You know what? I'll be a taxi. I need this. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm a taxi cab. Pick up Misty. It's not even Missy. It's Misty. Hello. Hello, Missy. Get in, Missy. Or Misty. God, why are you named Misty instead of Missy? Ah, ah. So sorry, Misty. So sorry, Misty. 
Oh, we have a one star wanted level. Okay, this one we have a potential of six stars that we can get. It doesn't matter though, we have the cops. Okay, no. Okay. Mission pass. Hold on, let me do some other things. What else can I do? Do I have any? No, I have no weapons. Okay, punch. Okay, punching's weird. Bop. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you, ma'am. Stop. Ma'am, don't run after me. Oh, I'm just swinging. Just swinging for the fences. Okay, we have a health bar. I killed the lady. Sorry. Yep, and everyone's asleep. Don't mess with me. Okay, we can actually pull up a map. I want to get a gun. We haven't shot a gun yet. I think we could have in the GTA 1 games, but uh, I didn't figure it out. So we have the ammunition right here. We have one. Oh, yeah, we got paid $1,500 on that last mission. So let's go into ammunition. All right, yeah, first ammunition. Okay, thank you. Out of stock. Why are you out of stock? Well, I can't do anything then. Wait, that guy has a weapon. Well, I have a one level now. Wait, I want to steal that guy's weapon. Well, hold on. Where's the cop? There's a cop right here. Oh, the cop went into ammunition. Yeah, hold on. Well, dude, dude, let me punch the cop. Stop. What is going on? I can't. Can I steal a weapon? Yes. All right, now I got a pistol. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Bop. Okay, I killed him. Ah, this is so weird. Ah, okay, we have some auto aim. Oh, I died. Okay, we had some auto aim there. But yeah, definitely a step up from GTA 1 and GTA 2 since it actually loaded in. But let's jump into our next game. So now we have our next Grand Theft Auto game, which is going to be Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And this Grand Theft Auto came out October 29th, 2002. You're gonna see Grand Theft Auto is gonna be pretty active for roughly the next decade. This decade that we're currently in, they're very, very active from start to finish. But 2002, to, we get introduced to Vice City. So yeah, let's head on over there. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This introduction, I just noticed a guy in the background is just by a hook. <laughs> Okay. I don't think they were trying to sneak that in, but I caught it. Okay, there's a helicopter. Okay, okay. There's a deal that's about to go down, and oh, no, no, no. Y'all just stay put. You know, we're gonna have a fair deal. Oh, and yep, there, yep, yep, pew, pew, pew. And this guy right here that's running, he is Tommy Versetti. He just jumped in a car and ran off. Okay, and here we go. Um, So now we're moving. This is Vice City right here. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a lot better than GTA 3, at least the streets do. Oh yeah, once again, this is part of the definitive edition. Edition. This is the second installation for the definitive edition. But we need to go here to Ocean View. We need to make our way over here, right? No? God, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, moron. You're supposed to walk in the front door. <laughs> oh, this guy's angry. Poor guy. Okay, well, Tommy's pretty pissed. Okay, I'm gonna go to a lawyer's office. All right, all right. I'll do this part. All right, and we made it to the lawyer's office. Okay, so now we have to go and change our attire. And then we have to go onto a yacht. Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, but here we go. We're at Raphael's. And now we look very dapper now. Yep, we're ready to go. Why did they just show someone parking their bike? Am I supposed to, like, steal that bike? I mean, I can't. I can steal a bike. Oh my God, I I can't turn in this thing. This thing sucks. You can't turn. I'm turning as hard as I can. Yeah, nah. This is not the bike. Okay, we've made it over to the docks. Oh, <laughs> just ran into a car. They're like, all right, you're good. Oh, okay. This is this guy's daughter. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. We're really liking Mercedes. Uh, would you like to take my nice whip, Mercedes? Yeah, this is my Infernus. Yeah, okay. The Infernus is much easier to drive. I am so sorry, Mercedes. Okay, Mercedes, we're here. I think she liked the drive. I think she really liked the drive. Mission pass. I got $100 for that. Dude, I need some weapons, dude. Someone give me some weapons. I'll just do the same beating up people and try to get some weapons. Wait, it's a cop. Why don't y'all have a gun? I need a gun. Why do y'all have nightsticks? Please give me a gun. All right, now I got a pistol. All right, yeah, yeah. Come out. Yeah. Bop. Nice. Oh, wait. This guy has a... Okay, never mind. That guy had some sort of SMG, but I died. Okay, well, that's good enough for GTA Vice City. All right, so the next game that we're going to play is going to be this game called Grand Theft Auto Advance. This came out October 26th, and there's actually another game that came out October 26th of 2004 along with this game, but this is the first GTA game that was released on a handheld console. So yeah, I'm going to assume that this is going to be a step down from GTA 3 and then GTA Vice City. So yeah, let's go ahead and then, dude, why are you pausing? I can't record this full screen so we're gonna have to do it like this so this might be a little annoying okay, here we go jump start oh my stop pausing this is our big chance mike we've almost got enough money to leave liberty city for good i'm tired of playing Aaron boy <laughs> we need to strike off on our own and lead the good life yeah for sure i've got your back Vinny. blah 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 i don't care all right here we go let's go i don't even know who i'm supposed to be hey mike you drive of course i have to drive yeah blah 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 blah, blah. okay how do i get in oh okay i figured 
figure it out. The restaurant is somewhere. Oh my. This is starting to piss me off. It keeps pausing. I don't think it has anything to do with the game. Okay, how do I drive? Press the A button, which is not the A button. Oh my God. There we go. Okay. Now we're driving. Where are we going? Where are we going, boys? I guess this was cool if you had whatever console this was on, but this is annoying. The controls are a little bit different too. There's actually an accelerate and de accelerate button. Oh, I just flipped that car. That's kind of funny. I don't even know where I'm supposed to technically go. There's like a pink dot on the mini map. I am assuming I go there. Drive into the. Uh, we have to. Oh, we have to drive into the blue box to trigger the mission. Okay, we're at a restaurant. Yeah, this website that I'm on, there's so many ads that I think it's screwing this up. Oh my God, they want me to drive again. All right, I'm good with GTA Advance. I guess kind of cool that it was on a handheld device, but it's a little annoying for me to play off of this website right now. So yeah, let's jump in to the other game that was released October 26, 2004. All right, so now we are on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which also came out October 26, 2004. And this is gonna be the last game that's also out with the definitive edition. By the way, if you have GTA Plus, you can get the definitive edition for GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Yeah, but I bought it outright when it came out and I haven't touched this game pretty much since it came out. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go play GTA San Andreas. We're already being pulled over. We just landed and we're being pulled over. And this guy right here, this is Carl CJ Johnson. Dude, there's a guy that's running into the train. <laughs> Poor guy. He just wanted to cross a train track and you see a train and he's just like, ah, I'm still going to cross it. Oh my God. And there's a bridge right next to where he was. He could have just used the bridge. Oh, here we go again. All right. And here we go. We need to get on this bike and we're going to bike over to our first spot. So it's kind of cool that we're using a bike. Dude, look how low to the ground we can get. Jeez. All right. And here we go. We need to go here. <laughs> <laughs> he's supposed to be shocked god it, it does not look it looks interesting let's just say that oh he's having flashbacks and everything whoa 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 big smoke oh yeah here comes every character is like hey do you want to drive like when will someone else drive like come on guys oh man i actually didn't have to drive never mind <laughs> whoa 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 okay it, things are tense things are very tense right here oh there's a drive-by okay oh oh bro they shot it so good that it just blew up <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, we need to get on our bike. Our famous bike. Man, y'all slow. Bro, 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 bro. Help, help. How do I reverse? Let that die. The ballers have me literally pinned. Pinned. <laughs> How? How did I fail that mission of all things? Right, can I get a gun in this game too? I mean, I know I can, but I would like one. Do I have one? No. Okay. Yeah. I have to go earn it. So I won't, that means beat up a cop. Dude, the left hook out of nowhere. Bro, CJ has some hands, dude. Okay. This cop has a gun. Okay, cool. Huh? I'm trying to aim this way. And okay, now I actually could shoot. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I died again. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of San Andreas. Now let's move on to our next game. So the next installation to the GTA series is actually another handheld game, and it's going to be Grand Theft Auto Liberty Series Stories. Now the good thing with Liberty Series Stories and another handheld game that we're gonna get into later on, they're actually on App Store. So like I'm playing this currently right now on my iPad, which is very nice. Yeah, there's three more handheld games, but one of them doesn't even work. One of them is not available on iOS, so we're not gonna play that one. But anyway. Anyways, we're here on Grand Theft Auto Liberty Series Story. So, yeah, let's just see how this goes. All right, so we can start game. Yeah, yeah let's start a new game. I can unlock it with GTA Plus, but I can try it for 30 minutes. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm going to try it. I don't even know if I'm going to play 30 minutes. No, I'm not even going to play 13. I might not even play 10. Uh, but anyways, here we are. Liberty Series Stories. Okay, so this guy right here is apparently Tony Cipriani. I will have to say, this is a lot better than GTA Advance. They definitely stepped up their handheld performance. But anyways, I don't care blah 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 okay what are we getting into this is actually really good quality i mean i know this is on ios but this is great quality i'm very impressed by this all right is this where i'm supposed to go or is it the other side of the get back in the car I, the map's a little unclear exactly where i'm supposed to go i think we need to go in here yeah all right all right, all right, all right. we're making progress all right this is our home blah 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 cool now what <laughs> we need to walk inside oh okay okay and save our progress there they're forcing me to change clothes okay i guess well, what are we dressing as oh okay okay Okay, okay. Rejoin Vincenzo outside. Okay, fine, fine. So yeah, driving, I'm getting that. I was about to say, I'm getting the hang of driving. There we go. We finally, finally made it over here. That was a mission. I didn't do anything. Oh, baseball bat. You know what? Screw it. It's almost baseball season. All right, how do I hit? Oh, ooh, ah. What's happening? I, I don't know what I'm doing. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, oh, moron. Hit that button. Yeah, that's right. Home run, baby. Where are the cops? Come on. Hey, all right, what's up? Oh, you wrecked your car. Idiot. Pop. Oh, a gun. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. How do I switch my weapon? How do I switch my weapon? I don't know, dude. I mean, baseball bats are fun, though. I mean, this is fun, but like, I don't even know how to pull out my gun. Oh, okay. Well, I'm getting killed. Yeah, I'm about to die. All right, and there we go. Yeah, we died. Not a bad handheld game. A lot better than GTA Advance. So the Liberty Series Stories came out October 25th, 2005. And then October 31st, 2006, they came out with GTA Vice City Stories, which is another handheld game. But this one, for some reason, is not available on iOS. So we're not going to be touching Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. But the next game that we're going to get into is a pretty big game in the series. So yeah, let's jump into that. And the next game that came out from the Grand Theft Auto series is going to be Grand Theft Auto 4, releasing April 29th, 2008. And right here, we're looking at Nico Bellic. So yeah, let's go ahead and start this up. Bro, what is going on already? Oh, uh-huh. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a step up. Okay, yeah, this looks great. Looks really good. There's no definitive edition or anything like that. This is just GTA 4. Granted, I'm playing this on my computer, but yeah, no, this looks good. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. What are we doing? Okay, okay. The map is looking a lot more like GTA 5. It's still the circle, but yeah, the icons are looking very similar now. All right, so now what are we doing, eh? Oh, okay. We're still going through an intro. Okay. All right, yeah. So we need to go visit Roman. Am I visiting him here? No, okay. We have to go out and visit him. Okay. Bro, we live in an apartment? Dude. Oh, okay. okay I need a car. I'll take a cop car. Can I have your car, please? Wait, no. Nah, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Thank you. Okay, I need to go visit Roman. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna ignore the cops. Oh my god, it's a six star wanted level. Okay, so I guess the five star wanted level is just for GTA 5. I brought it to a five star for GTA 5. Interesting. Okay. And so we have a cutscene that I'm not gonna watch. All right, we're, we're driving this to a hardware store. All right, nice. All right, so what do I wanna do now? I wanna test out some of these controls. I'm gonna beat up this guy. Hey, how do I beat up this guy? What the? Just push you on the ground. Okay. Bro, why are you? afraid. I don't even know how to play this game, okay? Yeah, he's boxing more like a traditional boxer. I mean, we had freaking, like, kickboxing with, like, all the definitive edition games. We had leg kicks. We had high kicks right to the chin. Yeah, Nico is very traditional boxer. I need to get a gun. I would like a gun somehow. Oh, oh, I have a shotgun? What did I get? Okay, okay, we apparently had a shotgun. I had to look up how to pull it out, but all right. Hey, excuse me, sir. You are annoying. Oh, well, excuse me? How did he survive that? Okay, okay, yeah, this person's not phased at all. Excuse me. Nice. Good miss. Hold on. Wait, do we not have different weapons? Oh, we just, all we had was a shotgun. That was weird to pull out the gun. Like, it made more sense during the Definitive Edition games. All right, yeah, but I, I think that's enough. Oh, 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 you want to fight, eh? Yeah, Nico spent some time in the boxing gyms. You can tell, yeah. He's piecing them to the body, too. Dang. All right, yeah, this is GTA 4. But yeah, let's jump into our last handheld game that we have to get into. All right, so we're getting into our final handheld game, which is going to be Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, which is this game came out March 17th, 2009. Uh, still same ordeal. We have 30 minutes to play this for free. Okay, finally, I got to skip some stuff. Jeez, I don't know what's going on. We're at an airport, apparently. Mr. Lee, Huang Lee. Yeah, this Huang Lee guy is gonna be the guy we're controlling. Um, we're ambush. Okay, this looks very interesting. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely gonna be a very different type of game. But here it is, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Can I skip this, dude? Okay, there's so much introduction to this. I can't skip this. Why did they have opening credits, dude? I, I'm so bored. I'm yawning throughout this entire thing. And the funny thing is that this is going against my 30 minute timer to play this game for free. Finally, we're getting something other than those opening credits. Okay, that is one way to drive, I guess. Okay, tap the vehicle's window to smash it. Okay, pop, 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 pop. Nice. Okay, yeah, this is definitely different art. Oh, this is the first time I swam in any GTA game so far for this video. Blah, blah, I'm not reading any of this. Interesting. I can jump and fist fight. And then I could kick. Okay. Back to the kicking. Oh, oh, I have to. This is weird. Like right now, my finger is on the key. Or that's not even a key. That's a weird looking key. That is a screwdriver. Then we're just going to rotate. I, I rotated. Hello. Oh, okay. That's how we start up a car, apparently. All right. So now driving is going to be similar to Liberty Series stories. If I'm not mistaken, I think this game came out on DS, which I grew up on a DS. And it's seems so crazy to me that a freaking gta game was on ds all right i'm here 
I am here. What are we doing? I heard you've been killed. Well, no. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Holy, there is a lot of talking in this. There's a lot of things that I'm just clicking straight through. Storyline, I don't know, but that's on me. Go to my apartment. Oh my God, dude. Oh, no, I don't have time to go to my apartment. All right, we're gonna do something more fun. How about this, all right? Is this a person? Bop. Bop. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah, beating people up is definitely very simple. But I mean, this is a handheld game, so you know, you can't expect the best thing in the world. I'm trying to get the cops on me, dude. Where do people have to beat up in order to, for the cops to get on me? All right, I've had enough of this game. But that's our last handheld game. We have two more expansions for GTA 4, and then we have the big one at the end. So yeah, let's jump into our next one. All right, so now we need to get into the two expansions for Grand Theft Auto 4. And the first one that we're gonna do is gonna be Grand Theft Auto, The Lost and Damned, which came out February 17th, 2009. So yeah, let's go ahead and play this. All right, and here we go. The Lost and Damned. Here's Johnny Clevitz, which we see him in GTA 5. Not for long though. This is a pretty cool intro. I mean, some of the intros that I've seen have kind of put me to sleep, but yeah. Johnny Clevitz, Vice President, Treasurer. Okay, oh, uh, Treasurer of an MC. Okay, that's interesting. All right, we have to ride to the Lost Clubhouse. Okay, yeah. Controlling bikes is so annoying. All right, and we're back at the clubhouse. All right, I don't need to listen to this. <laughs> what are we doing? What, we have to get a bike? Is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah, we have to ride to the chop shop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that wheelie? What in the world was that? This is a long bike ride. I don't know why we are going so far just to go to this chop shop. There couldn't have been a closer chop shop. Finally, we've made it here. Oh my God, that was so far. What? We didn't even collect the bike? Is that what I just heard? Okay, that's not a far drive, but jeez. I just skipped right through it, but man, he should have had the bike. All right, so we've made it here. Was this a salvage yard? Oh, take out that... Okay, we actually have to take out people. All right, all right. The first mission where we're required to take out people. Okay, we only have one gun. We only have this gun. Okay, that was a barrel. I'll just run up on y'all. Like, what are y'all gonna do? Come on. You know what? No, no, no. I'll just take y'all out with my bare fist. Bop. Bop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm done here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You're, you're getting shot. Okay, good. <laughs> So I, I was goofing around. That's on me. All right, we'll do this again. We'll easily complete it. It's all good. Yeah, hit the barrel. There's another barrel. Auto aim is so aggressive in this. Holy crap. All right, one more guy. It's this guy right here. <laughs> that was the slowest roll. There we go. Okay, everyone's taking out. God, we still have more mission to do? We got the main gist of it. I mean, we drove around. We shot some people. You know, fun stuff. Let's head on over to the other expansion for GTA 4. All right, so now we're getting into the second expansion for GTA 4, which is going to be Grand Theft Auto, The Ballad of Gay Tony. And this came out October 29th, 2009, which was less than a year. It's only eight months. It was only eight months after the first expansion, which was Lost and Damned. So yeah, let's go ahead and play this. Okay, so apparently we're being robbed or whatever at a bank. Um, I don't really care to watch this. Okay, so now Tony Prince, who's in the passenger seat right here, we're apparently a bodyguard for him. Him. We are Luis Fernando Lopez. All right, so now we have to drive Tony to the Masonette 9. Okay. Okay, so we're at a nightclub now. Tony's taking some calls. So this is the Masonette 9. What are we doing? Hang out in the club. Well, what do you think I'm doing? Oh, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to figure out my controls and everything, and then I accidentally pulled out a gun. Oh, okay. I got to do that over. Oh, okay. I'll hang out in the club right, right, right. Hold on. Here. Perfect. Right here. I'm just standing on this girl. Okay, well, no, hold on. No, 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 no. I'll have to answer a call. Hold on. Okay, so there's something going on outside that we need to take care of. Right, now, what are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing. I'm just skipping a lot of things. Take my friends. These are my friends. Okay, I guess I'm taking my friends back to Northwood. Okay, now what? Go to my apartment. No, I really don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I have a pistol. Is that all I have? I do have some bare fists, though. Yeah, I'll beat you up. You look like you're taller than me, bigger than me. Yeah, ooh, the left hook. The left hook is a landing for Mr. Luis. Well, I killed him. <laughs> all right, sorry, fellas, but I need to test something. Okay, nice. Wait, I didn't beat you up fully? Sorry, sir. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm liking the Lost and Damned a little bit better. Oh, no, we have some cops running after us. Hey, now, why did you run me over? Yeah, come here. Yo, what's up? What, you were about to hide behind a 
fire hydrant. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah, you deserve to die. All right, well, that's not bad. But it's time for us to get into our final Grand Theft Auto game. So this is going to be the final Grand Theft Auto game that we're going to be getting into. Grand Theft Auto 5 came out September 17th, 2013. This game has been out for over 10 years now. But yeah, let's go ahead and start up story mode. Ludendorff North Yankton nine years ago. Michael throwing down someone. Wait, that wasn't Michael. I'm being stupid. Yeah, it's so weird coming back to this. Even though this is the game I play for my channel. So weird coming back to this after playing all those other GTA games. I got to relearn all this again. Yeah, but anyways, we have to aim at the hostages right now to put them in the closet. I will have to say, out of playing like all like the first missions for the Grand Theft Auto games, I do think this introduction mission is the best one to actually like learn how to play the game. So yeah, we're, we're just jumping in just straight up. We're robbing a bank. So yeah, we need to go in here. We need to start collecting the cash. There's a ton of cash right here. We have a take of $179,000. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, now we need to switch to Trevor. This is going to be the first Grand Theft Auto game where there's multiple protagonists. And so now we need to take out the guard like so. So yeah, there's three protagonists. Right now I'm using Trevor. Then you also have Michael. Then you have Franklin. Franklin is not a part of this introduction mission. There's an introduction mission for Franklin himself. We're not going to be getting into that today. Oh yeah, this guy right here. This is not Franklin. I don't even remember this guy's name. We started out with a carbine rifle, at least for this mission. We have to take out a ton of cops just straight off the bat. You just immediately get thrown into the fire. But this is a prologue to like what's happening and the kind of the story for Grand Theft Auto V. So it kind of makes sense why we're just being just thrown straight into the fire. Lost and damned, we kind of were thrown into the fire. Kind of. But we had to do a lot of driving. There's no driving here. This one's literally just get your bearings and you're immediately shooting. Oh, there we go. Those cops are dead. So we need to get in this car because we have the cops on us right here. Oh, and there goes our driver. So sorry, driver. So he gets thrown out. So now Michael is going to be the one driving. There's a here we are. We're Michael driving now. So now we need to drive to the helicopter pickup point. There's, a, there's apparently a train coming. From where? Oh, I just ran straight to a car. <laughs> so now we need to go over here and... Oh, okay. Yikes. There's the train. Got clipped. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, here comes a guy right here with a sniper. And Oh, dude. That guy actually got shot. And oh, there goes Michael who got shot too. Because now we have to hold off the cops. At least the best we can. Yeah, Trevor's a little sad. His best friend Michael just got shot. I just feel so much better just because I'm so used to this game, dude. Okay, yeah, here comes even more cops. Too many cops for Trevor just to take out all by himself. So he's going to decide to run away. Well, and there it is. Michael Townley being buried right here. So sad. There's the guy who shot him right there. And here comes Michael right here, who's actually not dead. Now we're like, oh, what is this? Grand Theft Auto 5. And that is every single GTA game. Now, I'm not going to touch GTA Online, which I could, but we're not going to touch GTA Online today. Now, make sure you like and subscribe and maybe down the line i'll come back to all these grand theft auto games and try to get the highest one level possible and seeing if i can escape them make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me try to complete the criminal mastermind challenge in gta online